Oh, la final lap. Oh, God. Oh, around the inside. Finally, ladies and gentlemen, after waiting the whole day, it is finally here. Welcome to the first video on F122. You can tell from my facial expression and my voice that I'm really excited for this. I am super excited because it's a new new game and it's a new series starting today we are going to jump into driver career mode today because i feel like you guys love the driver career mode series on my channel as well as the fact that a lot of youtubers have been posting my team and i think a lot of you guys will probably have too much knowledge of my team but not much about driver career mode so let's start a new series in the driver career mode series of course thank you so much for the support over the past f1 2021 driver career mode series we're jumping into f122 driver career mode series of course starting in f2 so let's jump straight into this we are going to do a full season of f2 let's see what this game has to offer us so let's jump into a full season uh let me see what the settings is all about i think it's just what what i want to do right like driving proficiency all assists off as always if you guys are new to the channel welcome first of all but also you will know that I'm a controller player. You won't know that, but now you do. And I do manual and all assists off. Uh, career settings, let me see, is that AI? No, driver moves on, R&D management on. Okay, yeah, so this is gonna be interesting. Fault types I want high and frequency standard. I think that it will make things more interesting, you know? Cash rate for player. I guess I'll leave everything on default because driver career mode is very different than my team. So we'll do that for now. Um, simulation settings, of course. Oh, 32. Are you kidding me? Well, who do you think I am here, huh? We're jumping that all the way up to 110. We can structure. We're going to do... Hmm, I do need a bit of practice, so maybe I'll do... Pra ah, I don't know. Do I want practice? I don't know. We're going to do a full qualifying form. Nah, I'll do a... Sh okay, let's do a full qualifying format. A two sprints and a feature. That looks good. And I think we did long races. 50%. Yeah good Ooh, let's do this let's do forecast accuracy on approximate because then that'll give us a little bit of variability a little uncertainty as we jump into races so that'll make a lot of fun you know experiences come through so start a new career with selected options let's go so do you want an authentic experience capturing the challenges facing a real f1 driver and driver career you'll play as one of those drivers looking to secure a seat on one of the official f1 teams exactly Winning contracts, being a driver will require you to work hard to impress the teams and ultimately earn contracts as teams better able to support you in your bid to win the driver's championship. Okay, this might be new. Earning tra contracts. Alright, please tell me there is a new Asian face in here except for the generic one that we've been using all of F1 2020 and 2021. So far, not really. It seems like they've got some more default a lot more women drivers that's good okay there's our generic asian dude that we've used all this time i don't think there's another asian huh huh weird yep well it seems like there's only one asian where's diversity huh F1 and its diversity, and yet they don't put in another generic Asian face in here. Uh, country and region, I will drive this under... I'll drive under the Korean flag this time out in this career mode series. I, it doesn't really matter, does it, really? Uh, so I haven't tweaked anything, so my personal helmet is not in here. What is this? It's Miami. Oh, so it's a Miami helmet. Okay. Can't alter the scheme on that one. I don't know. I went for the traditional korean flag colors there and then austrian red and white so to say so that looks like a decent like generic helmet we can have character pose we want to go for something serious we mean business here in f2 we need a nice f1 seat if we win the podium whoa some good poses interesting i'd say this one is nice it's the one i used in my previous ones um a lot of redos that seems new. I haven't run that before. Let's do that. That's new for this game. All right, let's jump through. Team select. I get to choose a team, right? Because I think everyone is identical. The cars are identical in F2, of course. Uh, it's just a matter of which team has the more funding. Um, but I don't think it's that in-depth here in this game. So I'd say we go for Carlin. I think they're the more famous one. I went for Uni Virtuosi last time. Uh, well, you know what? Let's go for something different. Let's go for Dams, for example. 
thems. Seems nice. And we're not going to start with the academy because I want to make it difficult for me to find a seat. If it's anything like the early stages suggest, I want teams to reach out to me to sign me rather than me approaching other teams, which I have a feeling it'll be that case. But I really do want to struggle. Um, something like, you know, Oscar Piastri's situation or something like that. I want that difficulty. All right, here we go. This looks good. Oh, I'm excited, guys. I'm excited. All right, guys, welcome to my first ever qualifying session. Did a couple laps in practice, but ugh, it's not looking good, guys. It is not looking good. I'm terribly sorry to say I think I might struggle today. I mean, it is the first race I'm ever driving here in uh, F1 2022 or 22. So uh, cut me some slack, please. Um, so front camber, rear camber is the one I want to touch on. I think I want to increase so uh, one thing that camber does is uh, it increases the front so the front camber increases the amount of grip you have in the front because the more negative it is the more grip you'll have because of how the wheels are shaped the more inwards they are the more grip you'll have with the nose of the car the more neutral they are so the more like closer to negative 2.5 it is the more uh speed you'll have going through the straight line at least that's how i understand it rear camber is the same thing but for the rears uh it also depends on how much you lock up because of the grip sometimes if your grip is too much you will lock up a lot more front toe and rear toe i think defines um like how like inwards they turn so again it means something along the lines of grip so the more inward they face like if you go skiing if you guys know skiing like the more big pizza you make the stronger grip you'll have and the slower you'll be a little i think and then uh the more like neutral or equal they are the more parallel they are the faster you'll be but also you will lose a bit of uh bite when you go into high speed corners so bahrain has a couple high speed corners and also has a couple like hairpins that we need to turn in on so i think i'm gonna opt for a little lower camber and lower front toe just to get that more grip um i'm literally importing my uh f1 2021 uh setup here it's not working out too well last place in practice so uh unlucky uh we will jump out we have 28 minutes left to set a time here on the medium so let's just jump out and see what kind of lap we can set here i'm hoping for a competitive lap time guys sorry <laughs> all right let's see first lap i don't know if it's a good one let's see I feel slow. I feel so sluggish. 1.2 seconds slower than Zendeli. Are you kidding me? We might be back of the grid here, guys. We might be back of the grid here. I don't have any more fuel left. I. Alright. Three tenths improved. Very difficult car to drive, man. Very different than F1 2021. We did go up one position. We're only seven tenths away from Guan Yu. Zhou Guan Yu. Can we find another couple tenths in another lap, you think? Yeah, we didn't improve, but qualifying is officially over. P21 starting position. Dams isn't the strongest team out here. Unlucky. All right, yeah, Tio Pusher gets P1. We are back here with 1.8 second gap to back of the grid. Wow, these guys are rapid. Well, seems like we have a challenge on our hands. Let's see how this race weekend goes. Hello and welcome from the Bahrain International Circuit here in Sakir. Down on the grid, the engineers are making their last checks, and today's race will be underway shortly. Plenty of opportunities around the 3.36 miles of the Bahrain International Circuit for these young F2 drivers to show what they can do. The best passing opportunity right up there at Turn 1, and we should see plenty of action there. But there's another not long after at Turn 4. There are nine right-handers and six left-handers, and the possibility that we could see some flat spots at the tightest of those left-handers, that's turn 10. Davide, you're a three-time winner around here in one week, I believe, back in 2012. How on earth do you make the tires last around this track? They degrade so quickly. To be honest, the key to the race is having a good start so you can get your car into a good position. Then save the tires as much as you can and push just at the end. 
All right, no intro needed, apparently. We're jumping straight into it then. Race strategy. Okay, yeah, I know how to do a race strategy. Shut your mouth, man. Uh, everything is said, pretty much. We can't adjust anything. Um, one thing I do, what I, one thing I can adjust is my arrow. I think I want a little more front arrow going into this race. Um, brakes are fine, I think. Tires are, um, front likes to, nah, they don't overheat, really. Uh, they just wear out a lot, which is, you know, general tire wear issue. All right. Let's get this race on the way. Bon Rain, the first race of the season. The car setup's not good, so let's see how good of a race we can have. Lights out, and we're off. Oh my god, look at that start. Oh my god. Yo, what is that start? That was disgustingly good. Oh, ah. I think Borshing hit me, man. <laughs> I was minding my own business and someone just turned in right into my path. Thanks for leaving the door open, boys. Oh, what the heck, guys? Seriously, adaptive AI is more like bumper cars AI, man. Goodness me. All right, had a little slippage there, but that's fine. Come on. Slipstream. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's get him. We're up to P14. It's a nice position. Nice start. Oh. Yes. You want to lift and coast a lot in F2, apparently. Because I lifted and coasted through that corner. I did get a nice little boost against Rashore. In a slipstream. Dive it. Around the outside. Oh, he touches. Who is that on the inside? Nice. Two positions in one right there. Bit of Paldi. Nice. The reserve Haas driver. Apparently is an F2. And oh yeah, because it's last season. I keep forgetting. Oh, I got DRS. Let's go. Oh, I stole DRS off Fittipaldi. Let's go. We're currently trailing our teammate by 6.7 seconds. Oh, there's a yellow flag. There's a yellow flag. Must be a retirement of some kind. Masato. Okay, that's one position gained. Easily. Okay, Sato's out. I expected someone ahead to be retiring, but that doesn't help us. Makes the gap to whoever's in front a lot worse. Oh no, Fittipaldi has come up right behind me now. Oh, another yellow flag. Lap okay, 9, another yellow flag. Which car is that one? Dan Tictum is out of this session. Seems like there was a wing fragment on the track as well. Surely that's a safety car of some kind, like a VSC. I mean, that's good, but I still need to gain some positions. I'm struggling to gain positions here. Oh, someone's in the pits. Someone has wing damage. Schwarzman has wing damage. Alright, that's another position gained. Is that in the okay, points yet? The top ten. Is that points or is that... Uh, not yet points because I think... Is it only until P8 that gets points in F2? I don't know. We'll keep pushing though. Come on, P9. It's looking good right now. It's been very quiet. No real battles since the beginning. Whoa. Did I take body damage? I think I did. Vehicle condition. Okay, this is your final lap. Final lap of the race. Well, that doesn't help me if I have body damage or not, man. That was a poor exit. Oh dear, I'm compromised to fit a Paldi. That's okay, though. 
I have a feeling last lap OP AI is still a thing. There's no way Tail Porsche is gaining seconds on me. Oh dear. Gotta defend against Fittipaldi here because I did got a poor exit out of there. Oh my god, that's so small. Sorry guys. Oh, we defend it. We defend it. Alright, we got P9. I'll take it. I'll take it. Considering how much of a struggle we had, I'll take P9. And that's the end of the race. We'll see you in part Fermi. Brilliant stuff from Trident today. What a superb victory. Tell me, Davide, what was the key to this success? The difference was in the strategy. Credit to the driver, for sure. But races like this really drive home how much of a team sport this is. They did a lot of work on the pit wall to really make the most of each stint and to make the best use of the drivers. But that said, all of that would have been for nothing without a talented hand on the wheel. Our drivers are making their way out for the podium celebrations and it's going to be Trident picking up the winner's trophy. Congratulations to the entire team for coming out on top in that amazing race. Not bad for my first ever race, just outside the points I knew it. F2, P8 and above get points, so we miss out by literally milliseconds, but that is right, not really milliseconds, but literally by the tips of our fingers. Really good drive to get up to P9, but the middle stint of the race was very stale. Marcus Armstrong and P4, so that's good for us. Uh, eight points so far for the team, and I'm stuck in P9. We got two more races to go, so let's just jump into it. No more dilly dallying. Time for the next race. Welcome to Sakir and the Bahrain International Circuit, where the grid is forming up ready for today's race. Davide, is there anything we should be looking for in today's race? The teams are all very competitive at the moment, so are we about to witness a push from anyone in particular? Hi Alex, the team will have been studying everyone else out there very carefully. So I think we are in for a very interesting event today. I can't wait to see how this race unfolds. All right. We have flipped the grid, so we have a good chance of winning this one here. Sprint race two coming up now. Uh, let's just hope for a safe start, man. All right, let's get this Grand Prix. It's not a Grand Prix, it's a sprint race, sorry. Let's get the sprint race two underway. It's a good starting position. The grid is flipped. And let's get a splendid race start. Oh my God, he runs away. The damn driver got a brilliant start off the line. Fittipaldi struggled. Oh. Oh, I've been touched, I've been touched, I've been touched. Oh, I have the lead. I have the lead. Vehicle condition. No tire concerns at the moment, just focus on the drive. Someone shunt in my rear. Yes, I know, mad sentence. But that is the reality. Someone literally shunt in my rear. So there must be a wing damage or something behind us. Oh, please, no slippage, no slippage. Just good driving, please. My car setup is not helping. It's not the greatest of setups right now. Come on. There's no ERS as well, so the only weapon I have is a DRS. But that also depends if I'm behind the car by one second, so... All right, I'm getting a hang of things. I'm getting a hang of things. Don't get too cocky now, but I am getting a hang of things. This is getting fun. Nice exit. Come on. 12 laps. 
Let's go. 144.4. That is so small. I'm sorry, guys. That uh, notification on the top of the screen is too small. Oh, come on. Got to keep Lungard behind, man. Oh, yes. I'm outside one second as we enter DRS lap. AKA lap 3 when the DRS gets enabled. 141.1. Okay, that's the fastest lap so far. Okay, I'm doing well. I'm doing very well, guys. Ah, uh, Enzo Fittipaldi gets the fastest lap. He's beat up by a couple tenths. Come on. Whoa, good turn one. Lungard is still on my tail. Within one second. I pulled away for a moment, but then... He's back. Okay, stand by. We see a problem our end and we're looking into it. Whoa. Why? Oh dear. What is the problem? Don't be serious, man. I'm doing so well in front. Come on. Don't do this to me, engine. Fixed, okay, we'll good. From our end. Not quite sure what the issue is. But that's good news. We can finally secure a win if we stay cautious. Ah, yes! Good job. Ooh, fastest fastest lap, let's go. I tried very hard for that lap. Ah, oh my god, of course, someone steals it. Alright, here we are then. Final lap of the Grand Prix, and we've done very well to maintain this lead ever okay, since the start. The final, lap. Final, lap of the race. final lap. Let me see if I can set my best lap on this final lap attempt. Whoa, what is this? Did I just get bodywork damage or is that a tire wear issue? I'm not quite sure why that popped up. Oh god. Cars are coming up behind me. You could say I tactically got P9 in the first sprint race because of this. How beautiful is that, eh? A victory in my F2 career. You love to see it. But what matters most is going to be the feature race, which is the next final race of this episode, which is coming up after this one. I'm kind of getting the hang of it. Card isn't the greatest. Again, the setup is really letting me down. I feel like I can be way faster than this if I have a good setup. I need to go back to the drawing board because this game feels very different regarding setup than the previous game so yep back to the drawing board with our setup for next episode but we will enjoy the champagne from winning sprint race 2 well, what a drive concentrated drive I was in the groove let's see if we can convert this performance into the feature race Congratulations, well done. Brilliant stuff from Dams today. What a superb victory. And I have to wonder, Davide Valsecchi, just what set them apart from the competition here? Although the Formula 2 car are all the same spec, the winner just looked better out there. It would have been a combination of getting those tires up to running temperature faster and driving to the condition on track. They made it look easy out there today. And I can see our drivers making their way out now. It's been a sublime team performance and it's the culmination of a lot of hard work. Dams are your winners today. Well, what a result. I'm going to speak over this one because, hey, we finally won a race and it's in the first episode. That's how good we are in F2. Love to see it. 
The setup let us down a little, but I did maintain a very clean race. I kind of got used to the circuit. Very good uh, management of the tires, especially because I had so much grip at the end, and then the AI started drifting off. So what a race result for us. What a result. P1 by the end of the sprint, second sprint race. Marcus Armstrong getting one point for us, which is valuable, very valuable. Uh, let's take a look at the results of the weekend. I jump up to P2 after two stunning races. We didn't score any points in the first one, but the 15 points from the race went in race two gives us P2 for the weekend so far. The feature race is going to be very important. So let's see if we can do well there. Standings wise, just as we go into the um, feature race, Dams is second. So we have done very well to put Dams up to P2 in the constructors. So let's see if we can further push on the ART drivers and get P1. But here we go into the feature race. Hello and welcome from the Bahrain International Circuit here in Sakir. Down on the grid, the engineers are making their last checks and today's race will be underway shortly. Bahrain represents an exceptional 3.36 miles of racing. Lots of opportunities to overtake throughout its 15 corners. Now, this track has built a reputation for being brutal on the rear tires, so keep an eye on how these young drivers manage their rubber. Strategy here could ultimately determine the winner of the race. Here are the starting positions for today's race. Teo Porcher has a clear track ahead of him today. He starts in pole position, and it's Robert Schwartzman in P2. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Lungard, Dragovic, Daniel Tictum, and Lawson, Aitken, Armstrong, Piastri, Ben Fiscal, Fittipaldi, Vashore, David Beckman, and Sato, Boschon, Zendeli, Samaya, and Yuri Vips. Deruvalo, Joe, Deleda, and the rookie. And now it's time to head down to the track. Davide, you're a three-time winner around here in one week, I believe, back in 2012. How on earth do you make the tyres last around this track? They degrade so quickly. To be honest, the key to the race is having a good start so you can get your car into a good position. Then save the tyres as much as you can and push just at the end. All right, so Jeff is gone and our race engineer is someone new. Um, but let's see. This is going to be all about strategy. Um, what if we start on the mediums and go to the hards? Uh, let me remove this tint. How does this look? Oh, that does not look good. Um, reverse strategy. This seems good. We can go further. We can get the overcut, mainly because this new game has tire temperature issues. So it will be on cold tires as we leave the pit after our pit stop. So we'll have to see if the overcut really works to perfection because I think Bahrain is an overcut track. All right, let's have a good race start and a good race finish. Strategy and pace coming to play in this one. So five red lights and let's see if we can get a good race in for dams. We're off. Oh, what a start. What a start. Getting Zhou Guan Yu off the line there. Getting two cars off the line there, actually. Ah! A little risky with the dive bomb there, but I think we're okay. Oh, we got pushed wide. Alright. Whew, P14. A little risky with the dive bomb there, but we kind of made it work. Ah! Didn't have the grip to get Beckman there. Unlucky. But let's keep pushing. Die bomb. Three Y. I. He turned into me, man. I turned in as much as I could there. P11. By the way, disclaimer, I may make a bit, couple of stupid mistakes because I am boiling in this room. I actually feel like I'm in the cockpit of this F2 car. It's that hot. So my judgment may be a little skewed because of the heat here. I am sweating like a pig as we try to navigate around P10, who's Sato. We meet again. He did DNF in the first sprint race to give me position, but let's see if we can get good battle in. 
Would love to see a good battle. And lap one comes to an end here. Come on. Let's get a good run. Oh, Viscal is struggling or really pressuring me. Oh dear, Viscal is actually going for a move there. Oh! Mega collision between Sato and Viscal. Oh, I drifted. Because my car setup doesn't allow me to have a stable car. <laughs> but yeah, Viscal just did Sato. A nasty. Okay, we gotta catch two seconds to Piastri. Oh, yellow flag. Oh, someone's went wide there. Who was that? Someone went wide. Lap two. No DRS, of course. Someone fluffed the hairpin. Let's go. Another yellow flag. What's happened? Oh, someone's retiring, surely. Who's that? Oh, Deleda. Deleda retires. Alright, DRS is gonna be enabled, so I gotta defend against Sato while also trying to catch who's ahead of me, now. Piastri. Come on, come on, Piastri. Give me that slipstream. Give me that DRS. Come on. Oh, big move. Oh, big move. Marcus, Sue is faster than you. Can you confirm the message? Not really. I don't know if I'm faster than this guy. We'll see. I think we're better off racing each other. Oh god, there's a yellow flag. Sorry, I'm focused on the road right now. Pull chairs out. Okay. Come on. Let's get that DRS. Tasty DRS. It's helping me out a lot. My straight line speed is compromised. And that DRS is compensating for it a little. Come on, Armstrong, give me your DRS, man. Give me your slipstream, more likely. Slipstream is more important right now. Anyone dipping into the pits yet? Nope. PSG is right on my behind. Come on, Armstrong, give me your DRS, man. Uh, your slipstream. Alright, I gotta defend against PSG. Oh, ho, ho. Little slippage out of the chicane there. But we're doing alright. Left in space. Okay, here we go. Armstrong and Aiken going side by side into the first turn hairpin. Oh, great exit out of there. I think I might get my teammate here. Yes, I know. Okay, we're up to P7 now. Yep, I got the position. Aiken's really close. Whoa. Stay in a slipstream. Stay in a slipstream. Let's go. Come on. Yes, great exit out there. People are dipping into the pits. Oh boy. Would have liked his uh, slipstream going straight through, but we're up to P3. P3. Drukovic up ahead.
we know this tire can go 12 laps because that's how many we did in the sprint races. We think they've got one more stop. And the time last lap was a 1 minute 41.9. Oh, I set the fast... Oh, uh, uh, yeah, I still have the fastest lap. I thought I lost it, but no, I did set the fastest lap. Beautiful. A little lock up into turn 1. I'm trying to get the overcut on Schwartzman so that I can get possibly P1. So Marcus is in the pits. Marcus in the pits. Yes, understood. All right, let's see. Going into the pits now. Nice. Good entry into the pits. Okay, good deal. Good job. Turn in. One, zero. All right, not bad. Oh, I don't have to turn, I gotta press A, okay. Not bad, 4.4 seconds. 4.6. Okay, nice. Let's see where we exit. I think P10 was the expectation, but I hope I get ahead of... Oh, that purple-pink car, I think that's Aiken. Ah, just behind him. Oh, what a switchback. Switchback of dreams, man. Alright, we gotta do the hard work again, going past Armstrong and Aiken. The overcut didn't work as much as well as well as I anticipated it would. Okay. Oh, my teammate is going for a mega dive on Aiken there. Goodness me. They're going ultra aggressive. Contact. Oh, wow. Kimi Raikkonen, Whoa. right there, man. Ooh. That was close around the outside of turn four, is it? Well, we got Armstrong in P6 just ahead. Just up ahead. Jesus, my English went out the window after that. All right, here we go. Let's see the power of the DRS. Come on. Man, it's taking forever because my straight line speed is not the greatest. Yes. Job done around the outside. I think I have DRS again. Thank you very much. Nice. you love to see it. Oh, there's moves going on up ahead. Oh, God. All of a sudden, we find ourselves in the slipstream of Schwartzman. Look at this now. DRS. Nice. Let's try and close the gap here. Oh, lap final lap. Oh, God. We could possibly get P5. Not quite sure how good we will be. Oh, around the inside. Marvelous. Oh, man. That was a move and a half in the final stages of the race. P5. Splendid. P5 is a very splendid result. I mean, I struggled all race weekend, really. I struggled all race weekend, and we're here in P5. I'll take the couple points we can get here. First race of F1 22, and I gotta say, we did very well. I mean, it kind of proves that they didn't touch F2 at all. Oh god, I've gone wide. Also, what's up with the warning system? I've never taken any exceeding track limits warnings, and I've gone off that much. It's quite interesting. But yeah, P5. Splendid. Oh my god. I felt vibrations in the car. Got scared for a moment. Alright, Drugovic with Uni Virtuosi wins the Grand Prix. I take home P5 in a struggling car. Let's go. Race over, take care of the car on the way in. And Virtuosi have pulled off a great victory here today. And Davide Valsecchi, give me your thoughts. How did they accomplish this result? 
think this race was won thanks to the tyre management. You have to remember, it's not just about going as fast as you can, it's about consistency. It's about maintaining your speed over an entire race distance. So being able to keep the lap time competitive while still respecting the tires, that's where they won today. And here are podium drivers today after that excellent race. They've excelled here as they so often do, and it's a well-deserved victory. Virtuosi then are on top today. Not bad. I'll take P5. I will take P5 in a struggling car and the bad setup on the car. Yes, I'll take it. Thank you very much. Solid number of points again. That has been a fantastic start, a fantastic debut in F2. Hopefully this has raised some eyebrows in the F1 paddock. Let's see if we get some offers come the end of the season. But of course, there are six more races. So let's see if we can improve on this performance. Well, not bad of a result for the whole race weekend. Drugovic in the lead. Uh, Lungard and Lawson on the podium. Ticta, myself, Armstrong, Schwartzman, Piastri, Sato, and Fittipaldi in the top 10. Aiken, Vershoor, Vips, Vips, Beckman, Zendeli, Joe, Samaya, Viscal, Daruvla, Boshung, Pocher. Uh, Boshung round out the finishers with Pocher and Deleda not getting uh, the finishing line. Not getting to the finishing line. Let's take a look at the standings then. Yep, I have fallen down to P4 after Liam Lawson and Lungard get good race results today. 10 point gap though, so it's still all to fight for. Dams is still second, five points behind ART, so we're looking good. We are looking tasty uh, in that as well. So hopefully we can keep this form up and hopefully we can uh, score some more points so that we can get Dams on top of the constructors as well as us at the top of the drivers. Also quickly, this is how the race result, or uh, race weekend result looks like. Drukovic at the top, Lungard and Lawson in two and third, in P2 and P3, and myself in P4. I guess it's pretty much the same as the uh, lineup in the uh, driver standing. So, yeah, this is how it looks in case you're wondering. What a result, guys. This has been a stunning race weekend. I struggled to find a good uh, setup for the car. No one has set any time trial laps in F2. So I had to go by my gut and find a good setup for the car that I thought was good. But it really compromised our straight line speed. We just couldn't get any pace in the straight line. So I think I got to go back to the drawing board and find a good balance in the car. Uh, of course, the next track, I don't know which one it is going to be. But of course, different tracks require different kind of uh, set up so we'll have to explore next time but overall with a struggling car as much as we did struggle in this car we did pull off a decent result p1 in one of the sprint races p9 for the first sprint race and then a p5 finish to score some solid points to keep ourselves competitive in the driver standings and also in the constructors for the team so we'll see if we can win both of them because that is our goal uh, f2 has always been our like golden season uh in f1 2021 as well so let's see if we can keep that up and replicate that in F122. Thank you guys so much for watching. Sorry this video came out late because I am recording this right before I edit and upload it. So thank you guys for your patience. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you smash that like button, subscribe using the red button down below and hit the notification bell as well so you're notified as soon as I upload next. F122 content will continue on the channel and will be posting regularly driver career mode as well as F1 life. I'll dip into a little as well and then my team career mode as well. So please be sure to be subscribed for more more F122 content and more gaming content. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for your time. Take care of yourselves. Stay safe. Stay healthy. I'll see you guys in the next Grand Prix or race weekend. Next race weekend.